Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I've been a long time Chrome user, but as many of you know, Chrome is a huge RAM hog, and I'm always playing with other browsers to see how they compare to Chrome. I've used Firefox and I find it to be quite fast, um, although Firefox, in contrast to Chrome, is a little bit of a CPU hog. So uh, when I heard about Edge coming out as Microsoft's new Chromium-based browser, I figured I would give it a try. And I have to say Edge is unbelievably fast. I really like using it thus far because it loads web pages just much quicker than Chrome does. And as I've been using it over the past couple of weeks, I've started exploring some of its features. And one that I particularly like is this um, little plus sign right over here by my user icon called collections. And essentially, collections are ways of saving and organizing web pages that you might want to come back to later. So you may ask yourself, isn't this the same as favorites or bookmarks? Well, yes, it kind of is, but the interface is really nice. So for example, I started playing with this by creating two different collections. I have a collection of Fusion 360 tutorials and of coding tutorials. So if I go to my Fusion 360 tutorials, there's a couple of videos that I've saved in here that I want to go through at some point. And I can actually add notes in here as well, which is really cool. So that's really where it differs from um, something like favorites or bookmarks. I can save web pages and I can also add little notes for myself to keep track of maybe uh, some tasks associated with these web pages or maybe just excerpts that I've pulled out of them. So it's a nice little organizer. So let's take a look at how this works. Um, I'm going to start a new collection. We're gonna call this test collection. And I am going to uh, close this for a moment and we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna look up edge tips and tricks. And here's um, an article from software one. I have no idea what this is, I'm just picking it. So here's a bunch of cool tips and tricks. Let's say I wanna save this, I can come over to my collections and if I was at this main page, I could click on my test collection and add the current page, and now it's added. And then maybe I'll add a note, um, review for possible, uh, review ab above article for possible tech tip ideas, right? And now I've got this little note associated with it. Let's go ahead and add another web page. We'll go back and I will grab another article here. And again, I can go over to collections. I can add the current page. And now I've got this other article added. And of course I can reorder these in any way I want. So it serves a little bit more of a purpose than simply just saving web pages. I can save web pages and then add notes associated with them and organize them. And if you noticed in the notes, I can create bulleted lists and I can change some of the text formatting, which is kind of nice. This kind of reminds me of the um, Google Keep sidebar that's built into Gmail. So you can kind of organize and access your notes right from there. This is the same kind of concept. It's just a simple note format. Once you're done with an article, you can simply check it off and you can either delete it. You also have the ability to share it and copy it for some reason. I'm not sure why you would do that. So I can go ahead and delete this. I can delete my note and then I can delete this web page. And if I want to get rid of a collection, I can simply on the main collection page, I can check that off and delete that collection as well. So I've been playing with this a little bit. I like it. Um, it's visually very nice, a little bit nicer looking than favorites or bookmarks. And I really like the ability to add notes along with the web pages that I save. So I'm going to be playing with this a little bit, see how it functions as part of my day to day productivity. Um, but uh, it, I definitely recommend giving Edge a try if you are a Windows user. Um, I find it to be really nice to use. It does load pages much quicker than I'm finding Chrome on my computer loads pages. And it's definitely not such a RAM hog. Um, so if you do give Edge a try and you do play with the collections and you find out something cool, I'd love to hear from you. Throw a comment in this video. Um, and that's all I've got for you today. I hope this was helpful. Please hit that subscribe button. If you like these videos, I release new tech tips every weekday at noon. Check out the DAE.com for our full list of online workshops, classes, private lessons, and summer camp. And if you have an idea for a tech tip you'd like to see me create, throw it in the comments and I'll do my best. Thanks and have a great day.